This is module four, lesson 11, homework on the back. Number three, find the area of the rectangle below. I can see that I have the side lengths of eight centimeters and six centimeters. When I find the area, I need to multiply those two numbers together. So I need to multiply eight times six. Counting by sixes eight times. Six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48. I have 48 square centimeters as my area. Part B. Hilda says a four centimeter by 12 centimeter rectangle has the same area as the rectangle in part A. So Hilda is saying that a rectangle that is four centimeters by 12 centimeters is also 48 square centimeters as the area. Place parentheses in the equation to find the related fact and solve. Is Hilda correct? Why or why not? So you can see in letter B, we already have 4 times 12 broken apart into 4 times 2 times 6. I can see they broke apart the 12, so I'm going to put parentheses around 2 times 6. In the next line, I want to move my parentheses. So this time I'm going to have 4 times 2 in parentheses. 4 times 2 is 8 with a 6 left over. That looks similar to part A. 8 times 6 is 48 square centimeters. You need to write in words if Hilda is correct and why or why not using the numbers that we just talked about. Letter C. Use the expression 8 times 6 to find different side lengths for a rectangle that has the same area as the rectangle in part A. Show your equations using parentheses. Then estimate to draw the rectangle and label the side lengths. So again, we're going to use 8 times 6 to help us come up with a new set of sides. We're going to break apart the 8. So we have 4 times 2 times 6. Actually, let's break apart the 6 because the 8 is something that we've already broken apart in a similar problem up above. Let's have 8 times 2 times 3. Put parentheses around 8 and 2. So next I would have two numbers that I could multiply together to also equal 48 square centimeters. When you fill in those missing numbers, draw a rectangle that will match the two units and label their side length. 